You hear the term chiller thrown around plenty, and you have to ask yourself the question at some point, what really defines a chiller from just a regular air conditioner? Like, why, why is it special? What is that? The short answer is, it's a hydronic cooling machine, meaning the evaporator itself uses a hydronic evaporator. Now, hydronic is using water. That is, hydro is the use of water through the evaporator, and we're going to cool the water down to go cool the space. But a chiller specifically, whether it be water or brine or a glycol solution, either way, it's a fluid. We're, we're cooling a fluid versus air. So a regular air conditioner, we're processing air over a coil, an air over coil, and then we're cooling and removing the heat from that air and to relocate it outside. Well, the chiller has a evaporator that moves the water instead. So if you are processing water, you have a chiller. Now, you can still have air-cooled and water-cooled chillers, and that's where the condenser itself, whether or not it's using air for air over condensers, a regular split system, for example, that's an air over condenser, it's air-cooled, or whether we have a water-cooled that we're moving water throughout the, the condenser barrel, um, so a water source heat pump or a big centrifugal chiller is maybe something that comes to mind for you. Those are water-cooled systems. So in just that's your basic definition on what a chiller is. And we'll dive more into in future videos just why. Why chillers, why use water to begin with and its various benefits. But if you'd like some more training like this in a structured and interactive format, go to chilleracademy.com. With that, MTT, make the time for your family, for your spouse, for your kids. I'll see you all around.